it's not quite a flat iron. It's actually that shape because of the CP right of way that went through the train tracks. We have an old photograph of, there's the tracks right here, all, all, an interpretation of the tracks. Uh, but the passage was, right of passage was here. Right. So the building basically was built to conform to the track on a, on a bias and angle, and the right angle that was the building on the other side. What kind of help we need, you can't give us So right here, about midway, down about 14 feet, there's going to be a refrigerated cabinet that goes from the floor to just under the black pipe up there. So it's about 12 foot high. And in that, the bottom whole bottom row are going to be kegs. Um, we also will have in the center a row of eight taps. And those taps will be constantly changing. We're in discussion with breweries at the moment so that they will end up being uh, one-off, small batches, limited. Ideally, though not, I don't think we can achieve it all the time, but ideally those eight taps will be beers that you can't get elsewhere in the province. The bar is circular and half of it is kitchen and half of it is... I don't know, it was good. So, no problem. Uh, so you're again, like, just go to the kitchen sort of in the middle of everything. There's a backup kitchen in the back here, but I'll show you that in a second. But it's sort of, again, it's, a, it's sort of a, an odd flat iron shaped building, so nothing square would really fit in here. The bar is around the post. Uh, this but, post here? Yeah, but quite large. It's like uh, 40 feet in diameter. So that's sort of the anchor of, of the It's the of back the bar? of the uh, of, of the bar. It's right. Sort of the, it's off center with that towards the back of the circle. Uh, because we, we need to have enough space for that big tower of beer in the back there. The beer tower. The beer tower. The tower of beer. Uh, this here, beautiful front, all glass, facing out. That's uh, restoration of the original. This is was never here. This is interpretation. Seating in the window. Uh, all the way around here. All along here and on the other side of the door. What kind of, what kind of seating? Like? Blanket seating, uh, but no sort of backs. We don't want to have that ugly sort of visual out to the public where people see and see people drinking and eating and you know not trying to hide anything. We put it right up. Uh, we are looking at uh, just wood blankets. Yeah. And we're looking at maple wood. Oh, like now. bench. Like or bench. Yeah. Got it. Like we're taking uh, inspiration from sort of beer halls. To negotiate the uh, the use of four or three and a half parking spots, and uh, you basically will be able to almost like a beer garden. And we've got a two-story neon sign that says "Bitters." It's going to be hanging right off that corner, right there. So maybe the light will bathe the, the patio for a while. We lose a pretty neat-looking patio with a. How, how many seats out here? We're going to go for 24. Fence, white picket fence that goes down to the tree and right across. And the ceiling is spectacular too. And these I beams are spectacular. What's neat about the I beams is that they're at sort of odd angles, which usually they're right angles. Right? So anybody, sort of architects, designers, come in and look, oh my God, the I beams. 